Hey everyone, this is 3D Dave and today's video is about um, what upgrades did I do to uh, my CR10 Max over time. Um, I have this printer for eight, nine months, I think. And which upgrades did I do and why? It has been running and printing for about 1600 hours now and I have an overall success rate of 71%. That's what um, my uh, tracking software uh, does say. So that means that 71% um, of my prints did finish. That doesn't mean that they all finished quite well, but at least I did not cancel them uh, due to an error. That being said, um, my updates. Well, the first update is something that's quite logical and that's, um, as you can see, yeah, no, it's my LEDs. I put an LED strip in and that strip is um, just hanging here. I glued it to uh, the bars and then um, from time to time I put a, a band around it, but it still doesn't have enough cooling. So I might be using the wrong LEDs, I guess. I do um, and they are starting to burn so they don't they won't live for long I think but anyway that's something I did um, if you put a camera on your printer this is definitely necessary second thing I did is the blue uh, infills um, I put them in because uh, when you clean the build plate and you wipe it off, it all falls in here. Also, the this is the filament uh, runout sensor, and it does leave some residue. As you can see, there is a little bit of residue. Well, it piles up if, if you start printing for like 120 hours. So there is a little bit of, uh, residue left. Then this one. Is it helping? I don't know. Um, but the only thing that's still noisy on this printer is not the hot end fan. But it's the power um, adapter fans. So there are two fans in here. Small 40 by 40s. Um, and they do make a lot of noise. I got this from Thingiverse and what it does is it, it will suck on fresh air from here. The idea is that when this bed, which is about 70 degrees when you print PETG, it will, well, the heat will concentrate here and your power supply will suck up warm air, which is not what we want. So that might help. I think it helps a little bit, but not, not the greatest. This also found on Thingiverse is a tube that makes sure that your Bowden tube goes in straight. Otherwise it will probably hang something like this. Now it goes in straight, which makes the pad more easy. I swapped out this connection because quite literally it, it snapped off the, the Capricorn tubing that was included with the printer. I still have the Capricorn tubing but uh, I don't use it. Also something you should do is you should definitely print out a new one. Um, there are more than enough on the Thingiverse to print. 
The reason why is that they tend to fail. If it gets stuck, they will break off. Um, this one is also already broken. Um, I don't know if it's visible, but one of the things, it's loose. So I do have to uh, swap it out, but do print one as soon as you can. So you have one if you need one. I have like three of them uh, in stock. So I'm quite sure that if it breaks off, um, I can, uh, can swap it out. Something else you can see here is the pin of um, the BL Touch. And I would say, please buy a few of those because if it goes wrong, it's always the pin that's bent or broken, always. Um, it gets stuck somewhere and then it's, it's ripped off. If you could see, this one is already bent. It still works. Um, it does what it has to do, but it's bent. So not the best thing. And then I made a, a suggestion to Creality and that is to um, also in my other video. The best thing you can do is when you want to assemble this printer is get some takeaway Chinese and then you can set up the printer. You can print your first Banshee and then eat your Chinese and when you're finished, you can use the chopstick to hang this wire because it will sag down. Other people have F-set like these uh, rollers where it's kept up like this. Um, what I do is quite simple. Make sure it's underneath. So it's, it's when it bends, it goes like this and then on the end here make sure the wires are on top of this point so wherever your carriage is it will never stick see you could cut it to length if you want. I use a regular chopstick and that would do the trick for me. Then also another thing I did here is um, the connection was very very close like this. So I ripped off the, the fabric from these cables so now it's bigger, there is more room and this is not so stressed. So it, it will probably last longer if it's not, not so stressed. Um, and then most important, I use a mirror instead of the build plate. Um, reason why I chose a mirror instead of the build plate is that glass is way easier and it sticks for me for everything. So uh, PETG is sticking um, uh, all my wood filament, uh, glow in the dark, uh, nylon I still have to try and then the PLAs are sticking as well. But about sticking. The biggest thing I notice with um, this printer is actually the fact that the X carriage is not level. And I mean, this one is out of sync with that one. And it happens to me from time to time. So I found this. Actually, in the kit, you have this little black thing. Um, you could use that, but I prefer this one. And the reason is that I can put the X carriage onto here, well, onto here. That's not high enough. So what I do is I crank it up in the back. Until this fits snug. And then I do exactly the same 
on the other side. But I do keep in mind that I will hold this, uh, this motor in the back. So like here, I will hold this while I turn the other one. And in that way, this X gantry will be level again. This is something I use on a regular basis. Every time I have a, an issue with adhesion, that's nine out of 10 my problem. It will stick here, but it won't stick there. It's not the bed, it's the gantry. So just level it again and then try it. What I do is I will print, if, I, if I'm going to print a large print, I will do a quick bed level. It's, it's 10 minutes of my time, but what is 10 minutes up to a failure after 100 hours? That's more costly. So um, these are the things I did to my uh, printer. I hope I can inspire you on changing stuff to your printer and see what works best for you. Oh, I did not show it, but I do use Octoprint. So I never used the, the SD card. That means I don't have the um, filament runoid sensor working for me. And I, I had issues with filament running out uh, in the past. Nevertheless, um, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have comments, please leave them below. See you next time. Bye bye.